Andre Arlovsky is plus 210 as the underdog and the elder statesman in this matchup. Tom, you're looking at Tom Aspinall, Andre, minus 260 as the favorite. Aspinall in the red, Arlovsky in the black. Well, as we know, Tom Aspinall, his fights so far have not gone very long. And if you're Andre Arlovsky and you have the experience in the octagon that he does, and you see the evolution in his game, how elusive he is these days. You think he's gonna try and take his time, but right there, went in with the blitz. See Tom using some little feints. Oh, see that right hand? That got through, that got Andre's attention straight away. Andre's gotta be careful. He kinda closed his eyes a little there. You cannot hesitate. Look at Tom, backing him up perfectly, using the little feints, using the footwork to back him up against the fence. That gives him nowhere to hide, nowhere to run. He's forced to exchange in a firefight when you cannot escape. Team Cowbon is the team where Tom, Tom Aspinall fingers. trains back in Liverpool, England. And of course, the training home of Darren Till, also Mike Grundy in the UFC. Yeah, so we saw on the training footage there, because we know Darren Till's watching. Darren Till was taking a little hide in there of Tom Aspinall. <laughs> Shout out, Darren. <laughs> Tom looks so confident in there, so confident, he's got that lead hand low, using little feints. And this is officially the longest UFC fight of Tom Aspinall's career. Oh, he connected! Oh, wow. Right, as I say that, this could be the end. Together. Look Arlovsky at this. In trouble here. Look at the hand speed. Oh, Arlovsky's going Andre in. Andre needs to cover oh, up. This could be Aspinall's it. Aspinall's trying to put it all together. This Arlovsky is it. He's just done. covering up, eating body wow. shots. Mark Smith gave Arlovsky a lot of chances there. And you see some damage on the face of Arlovsky after that flurry. I mean, you see the hand speed? That was insane. For a big guy, this size, this weight to move like that. And for Arlovsky, a little damage to the nose means the fight has just started. Yeah, that thing's been broken about a million times. But now wearing the pressure of Aspinall. Well, if those were not body shots, perhaps it would have been over, but Aspinall kept going to the body. He's having a little argument with the referee. The ref says, let go of the cage. He's like, I haven't got it. What are you talking about? Fight for head position here, head arm position. I asked Tom about his grappling the other day. I said, you know, if it hits the ground, how is that? And he said, what? I said, no, you're grappling. He said, what's grappling? <laughs> of course, uh, that's one way to approach it. If you spend any time with Darren Till, you're going to develop a sense of humor. So I think he's joking there. His dad runs the jiu-jitsu program down at Team Carbon, so he knows what he's doing on the ground. His father, Andrew Aspinall, is with him here tonight in the corner, as he is with all of Tom's fights. Under two minutes to go, round one. This is good for Arlovsky, though. It gives him a chance to get back into this fight. Landed a shot there. Tom was able to turn it, but as I say, you know, Arlovsky now is recovering from that barrage of punches. He's got a little bit of damage on his face, but, you know, that's not going to trouble him. He's, he's a long, super experienced veteran of this game. How about Aspinall not burning himself out by just repeating with the punches? Kind of grappled a little bit. Yeah. Taking his time. I mean, we didn't have a punch count on that combination earlier, but there was a lot of punches thrown. I, I don't know, 25 or so. Let's go, Tom. Work. A lot Let's of punches. Coming up on a minute to go, first round. And after that exchange, it's mostly played out in this position right here. With Aspinall forced to clinch along the fence. You know, if you think back to the fight between uh, Alistair Overeem and Walt Harris, remember Walt Harris came hot out the gate through a massive combination, had Overeem hurt. But then the old veteran, who's been there a million times, knows how to react in those situations, ended up turning the tables and getting the finish of his own in the second round, I think it was. Yep. So, you know, these old guys, Never count them out. Right. As I said, you can't buy experience. It has to be earned, and it is so valuable in a situation like this. Back to the center they go as Arlovsky finds him his way off the fence. Final 20 seconds of the first round. Oh! oh right from Arlovsky. Both guys connect there. Head 
heavy shots. Aspinall still moving the head. Nice. And kick up top from Arlovsky. Final seconds of round number one. Round two coming up. Right here, Tom. Right here. You want to stand or sit? Stand. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Hey, he expelled a lot of energy there. He's gonna start slowing down. He's, he's slowing down already. Hey, we, need, we wanna put kicks at the end of our punches. So, right, he, he's, he's moving back. He's using good footwork. Hold up on nothing. Okay, I'm holding up a bit. Yeah, just relax now and let the shots come. That was beautiful. Okay, beautiful. Switch on, gotta drop our chin a bit. Chin's up in the air. When we're on the fence, keep your head where it is. From when he's on here, we start circling on. Don't let him have control. Stamp away. Don't be there. Yep. So next time you jab, go I'll off on the angle. The go, go. You can go off the angle, can't you? Oh. Yeah. Okay, grab the top of it. Okay, All right, that's it. Can't rest your hand on top of it. Second round. Behind the line, Andre. All right, guys, second round, fight. Number two here at heavyweight between Tom Aspinall and Andre Arlovsky. Corner of Arlovsky was encouraged that I believe they might have the pressure fighter here in round two. Nice body shot from Arlovsky. Yeah, they were happy about the amount of energy that Tom expelled there. And he certainly did. But he's a young man. He trains hard. He's very motivated to win this fight. So I'm sure he can go three rounds hard. However, this is uncharted territory for him because, as we know, he typically ends his fights very, very quickly. Now, when you connect with somebody as many times as Tom did, and the man stands there, that sends a message, hold on, this guy isn't going to fall like the rest. And, you know, Tom's a young man, he's very confident. But some people, you never know, that can, that can affect their confidence, their psychology, their approach to the game. It's like, whoa, hold on a minute. I'm used to oh. people falling over when I hit them. What is happening? And there it is, look oh, at that, man, it's just over. A it's it goes gone. right under the chin, a tap quickly for Arlovsky. Tom Aspinall, submission victory in round two. Once he started to end it, it was over quickly. I mean, that's a great way to mix things up. I don't think Andre was expecting that beautiful blast double. Andre turned to try and get back to his feet. In doing so, gave up his back. And uh, once he had that locked in, it was over. It was quick because it was deep. He didn't even need the hooks. I mean, look at the size of the man. He's a big man. If you get it tight and you squeeze, you don't need the hooks when you're that size, but let's take a look at it. Here it is, real time. Boom! Under the chin. I mean, they really tested the octagon wall there, because look at that. They hit that with some, what's that, 520 pounds or so hitting it. And then, yeah, Andre turns his back, trying to get back to his feet, made a mistake. Tom Aspinall capitalized another great win early in round two. And for the official result, here's Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the rear naked choke submission comes at the official time. One minute, nine seconds of round number two. For your winner out of Liverpool, England, Tom Espinal!